Hey guys, welcome back. I am feeling much better and I know a bunch of you have been ill as well, so I hope you're all doing a lot better too. Now, I don't know about you, but I am so ready to finally run a Chaos Vault today. We got the Catalyst quite a while ago now and it's finally time. Or, it, it nearly is. Last time we went into a Chaos Vault cold, I don't think I played it very well, and definitely not to the best of my ability. So this time we're going to run just a regular vault to get warmed up, and then we'll dive straight into the chaos. So, let's get a crystal. And thank god for my cobblestone generator, because that was a lot of cobblestone. And I would definitely didn't want to have to go and mine it. And then just before we go in, let's take a look at our bounties. We've currently got two out of six creeper eyes, so that is wonderful. And then we can kill 28 assassin mobs and get some blank seals. I do love getting blank seals because I really like choosing the objective for the vaults, so blank seals is always very appealing. And then... Oh yeah, we had this one last time, 23 Vault Diamonds, and get a decent amount of stuff and three Blank Seals. Okay, um, let's take this one first, and let's see what we get. Ooh, a Treasure Vault, plus 50% item rarity. Okay, that's awesome. And an Elixir Vault, okay, this should be fun. Man, this should hopefully be a really good way to warm up because with elixir you need to do a little bit of everything if you want to actually complete it and i think that's probably good practice for the chaos vault because that also tends to surprise you and you have to do a bit of everything so oh boy let's just see how this goes i guess definitely still feeling a little bit out of practice but i i have hope i have hope hello hi guys Hi. Yes. Hello. Um, you don't give me any elixir, which is very rude of you. I don't appreciate that. But wooden chests gives at least some, so maybe I'll forgive you. This also feels a lot nicer than trying to do the nether vault last time. That felt very high stakes. This, this feels a bit more normal. I bet. I will never quite understand why the drowns struggle so much with water, considering it's where they live. But yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. I just, I just wish I understood. Of course, it's a baby. Why would it be anything other than a baby? And you, you can go away too. Thank you. Honestly, baby. Tank mobs are the absolute worst. I will stand by that. Because they, they just suck so bad. I mean, baby mobs of any kind suck, to be fair. But especially tank mobs, because they have so much more health. Okay, okay, okay. How many different POIs did I just manage to sell? Um, uh, that's another one. <laughs> Thank goodness for thorns, and also that I have a ridiculous amount of health at the moment. Because that was frankly unnecessary. Oh, hi. How is there even more of you? You really need to work out how to swim, mate. Like, it's kind of just embarrassing. Or maybe that's why you drowned. That would actually kind of make sense. You just, you, you couldn't swim in life, so why would you be able to swim in death? I, that makes an unfortunate amount of sense, and I'm really sorry. It's kind of a sad origin story, I can't lie. Hello? Oh, hi. You're a champion with a trident. And that was a lot of random knockback damage out of nowhere. Alright, mate. Uncalled for. Unnecessary. Please, please die. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the vault axe, but man, that was definitely unnecessary. I, oof, not sure about that one. Okay, um, oh, actually, our Alexa is doing pretty well. We're not halfway through the vault yet, and we're almost halfway through the Alexa. 
That is very nice, hopefully. Well, okay, that was a very easy bounty for the Vault Diamonds, because that was very quickly completed. Okay, normal? Sure. Oh, hi, that's a champion. Thank you for the Vault Boots. A poison vampire man. Thank you for the helmet. Ooh, archive. For six to seven health on a helmet? I have to go with health on a helmet. That's such a good modifier. And I think... Oh, apart from that one, which was a being sneaky sneaky. I think that should be everything. Let's get going. That was highly confusing for a second there, sir. Sniping at me from on top of the POI. Incredibly rude. Oh, but I need that. That just looks like such a good POI. Oh, and there's a hand in down here. Wonderful, okay. Let's just hope we can get enough stuff from this room and maybe one over to complete the elixir. And that way we can use that hand in. Oh, okay, perfect. All completed, so now we can just finish looting this and then downstairs is our way out. Perfect. Okay, this feels like a good warm-up actually. I feel like... We've done a lot of looting, we've done a lot of killing mobs, which is all very useful stuff to have been practicing ahead of absolute chaos. And let's just hand this thing in, no need to beat about the bush. We are done. That feels amazing. That feels so good. I think we did all right. How did we do? Yeah, 212 chests, 165 ores, 35 coins, and 399 mobs. And we had treasure, which means I'm pretty sure I saw quite a lot of gear coming in. So that will all be very, very nice. I can't wait to see what we get from this. Ooh, good warm up. Oh, and we leveled up. Yeah, we got a good amount of loot from that. We got 11 gear pieces, 9 jewels, some legendary ores, and we even managed to find a bunch of chest scrolls. I mean, if you remember how hard it was for us to find 4 living chest scrolls before this, you can just see how that treasure modifier was definitely coming into practice. And we got enough vault diamonds to complete our bounty. And we completed the vault. So, let's open up our crates. Oh, and that's an artifact. I didn't even see that in amongst all of that loot. Blimey, we haven't had an artifact for a while. That is, that is awesome. But before we can take a look at our artifact, we first need to take a look at our jewels. And the ones we'll be keeping are this size 13 durability jewel. Durability is always something worth keeping hold of, so that's very nice. Then we have a size 15 6 mining speed, which isn't a super high roll on the mining speed, but I think it's probably worth keeping hold of for size 15. Then we have this very nice 2.4% copiously jewel for size 17, which is very nice. A size 12 9% trap disarm, which is pretty awesome. And then finally, we have this size 14 16% vanilla immortality, which is the lowest roll of vanilla immortality, but at size 14, I think it's probably worth keeping hold of, but I may end up scrapping it. We'll see. As for all this gear, unfortunately, none of it is really worth keeping. And somehow we ended up with like five axes, which is definitely overkill if you ask me. But then we have our unidentified artifact. We currently have six unique artifacts. We of course have two of that one, which I know we can burn and get an artifact fragment, but I just haven't got round to that yet. But we have six unique artifacts and I guess it is time to see whether or not we will get our seventh unique artifact. And the answer is, 
Yes! Oh, that's so good. We have 7 out of 25 artifacts. That is so good. I did not expect... I didn't even see the artifact when I first opened all of the crates. That is so amazing. Ah, oh, what an unexpectedly brilliant warm-up vault. But despite that vault being amazing, that's not what we're all here for. Nope, we're here for the Chaos Vault, and it is finally time. Well, I should probably use my unspent skill point first so we're at maximum power for the vault, and I think someone mentioned in a comment the other day about having one level in Frost Nova for dungeons, so I think I might try that out. And then, you know, because it's me, I will inevitably forget to actually use it when I'm in bad situations, but uh, it's the thought that counts, right? And with that out of the way, let's get ourselves a crystal. Add the Chaos Catalyst. Take the other bounty for killing assassin mobs. And see what chaos the vaults have in store for us. Oh boy, I am nervous. This is always the way. Oh man, let's look at all these modifiers. We have one times gilded, six times wooden, two times lucky, one times living, four times plentiful. Ooh, only one times wild. I think that might be our best wild roll. And six times on eights, but eight times rapid. Okay. And an extra 60% mob damage. Okay. And also more health. Oh boy, that is gonna be... I mean, luckily one times wild, so that's something, but that is a very, very deadly vault. Okay, you know how I said I was nervous before? I am now mildly terrified, honestly, honestly mildly terrified, but that's fine. That's not that unusual for me, let's be honest. We have all know that I can be a bit dramatic about these things. This is certainly going to be a thing. And it's Elixir. We've completed our last Elixir, so maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, I don't know. We might just die in the first room. Who knows? Oh boy. Let's try this. Let's, let's try this. Who knows? I am legitimately terrified, but that's fine. Because when am I not legitimately terrified? Okay. Okay. Yep, you guys move fast. Yep, but you also have, luckily for a wild vault, you give a decent amount of elixir, so that's something. Um, you also do a lot of damage, as do you. Please die. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, but look how many wooden chests there are. That is crazy. Okay. Oh man, I am... I am definitely not prepared for this. Like, these guys moving this fast is just wrong. They should definitely not move this fast, ever. Oh god. Okay, um, but there is also just so many chests. This is going to be fine, guys. How many times do I have to tell myself that before it becomes real? That's a champion. Why did it have to be a champion? Okay, come this way. Okay, yes, be dumb in the water. You can pathfind to me, bud. Don't go throwing things like you can't pathfind to me. It's water. You can you can swim right through it. You legitimately teleported on my screen, boy. At least you I can see running. Oh god. I think this might be a broken level of additional speed, because I'm pretty sure that guy actually just teleported across my screen. I would definitely not like to do this with any less health than I currently have. I would quite like to do it with more health than I currently have, but that's not possible. But, Christ, okay. At least these guys are 
relatively low health, so even though they have extra, they still just die in one hit, which is very nice. And the, what, four times plentiful? Means we get a decent amount of ores from those POIs, which is also very welcome. Although the additional traps is not the best. It's not my favourite. On the plus side, we're almost halfway through our elixir, and we're not halfway through the vault. So that's good. I guess that's the benefit of having so many more mobs and everything than usual. I feel like this commentary I've had so far has been nothing but, oh god, oh man, oh no. But, you know, I think we've actually been dealing with it better than I originally thought we would. So that's good. Um, I did kind of think I'd die in the first room, and we're on, like, the second room. So if we die here, I still exceeded expectations. And, yeah, it does give about the same amount of Alexa. I think the Horde mobs might give the same amount, no matter what theme you're from. Which is interesting. I don't know why it's never even occurred to me before. Like, even inside challenge rooms, just never really occurred to me. Do you at least have your saving grace of giving a decent amount of elixir? Because otherwise all of you guys, you would be such a pain. I mean, you are such a pain, but you'd be more of a pain and have no redeeming qualities, so that's good. That was a giant mammoth thing that just fell from the ceiling. Guess we get to deal with that in a minute. Hi, you. You do a decent amount of damage, my friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that was quite painful. Can you at least let me mark my room before you start attacking me, sir? That's incredibly rude of you. Oh boy, Nether theme, my favourite. I love Nether themes. Didn't get enough of that last episode. Definitely wanted more time to get attacked by everything from the nether which i hate in regular minecraft a lot of the time especially the blaze with their ever present sniper skills and the wither skeletons meaning i can't see how many hearts i have this is great i should probably just move on from this room if i'm honest but then again there's always a slight chance that it's gonna have ores and be a ton of really good ones so let's just try and do this carefully this is fine this is fine this is fine i continue to tell myself this until it is fine i'm not gonna stay in this room i can't the nether theme is just a bit too crazy for me and the sweet theme is clearly the way to go with all of the gummy guys we're definitely not gonna cause problems. My everything just left. That was fun. I, you moved too fast, but that was an awful lot of wooden chests just then. And we've got seven minutes. I think we should be fine. Kill four dungeon mobs. Okay. If we can find a dungeon, then that's you know, in theory doable. We have to find a dungeon first, but beyond that, it's doable. If I don't die to all the yellow guys who are swarming me, run. You know what? Sweet theme is actually also incredibly horrible, so I'm also going to leave this room. Because eventually I'm going to find a room that's not dreadful right that exists like this ah uh, where are my lovely drown guys i'm sure they'll not wreak havoc on me oh there's a hand in here goodness sake you all just come straight at me oh and we completed the bounty well that's lovely it would be great if we can find a dungeon so that i can complete this god altar but at the same time, that is relatively low on my priority list because my main priority is to not die. Um, I feel like I've got my priorities just about in the right order and not dying should be top of that list. 
So that's what I'm going to do, hopefully. And we can consume a lodestone. Perfect. Cute. So, now at least it, we get no hearts. Well, if we get no hearts, then we're out. If we get low hearts, but we manage to escape, we can just find a hand in and just leave. So that's good. I like that. Contingency plans are the best plans. Hello. Oh, there's a champion guy. That's wonderful. Hi. You're... You do a lot of damage and move very fast. But you gave me a trinket, so I will forgive you everything. Oh, and there's a hand in here as well. Okay, we, that guy just gave us a trinket. I, yeah, I, I will forgive him. Whatever just happened. Oh, I don't know about you, though. Please, just die. Thank you. Thank you for the vault leggings as well. Um, how are we doing? Two minutes. There's a hand in here. Yeah, there is. Okay, we can explore this room a bit. We have two minutes. Oh, God. We do have more of the tiny guys, though, which is not fun. This is not what I wanted out of life. Ooh, I guess let's just leave this and then we can go back up to the top and click on a lodestone. Because somehow we have actually successfully managed to complete a chaos vault which i think is only because it was uh alexa i think anything else would be not doable but we did it which is amazing and it should be interesting to see quite how many uh chests we looted because it feels like a lot Ooh. 311, yeah! And 157 ores and 52 coin piles. And killed 409 mobs. That was good. That was really good. And yeah, thank god we only had one set of wild because that was bad enough because we had all of the rapid and chunky and furious. That was harsh. But six times ornate, an extra plentiful, and so many wooden? <laughs> 271 wooden chests yeah oh i can't wait to see what the loot is from this it's gonna be so great okay let's take a proper look at everything we just got from that vault because it's it's quite a lot i mean we got nine mod boxes a waxing focus and a waning focus a charm a trinket from that champion which was absolutely awesome 10 gear pieces and 5 jewels. Plus, we completed our assassin mob bounty. And we somehow managed to complete the vault as well. So, we have even more stuff. And from our jewels, we're going to be keeping these three. We have a size 17, 2.1% copiously, which is very nice. A size 28, 2.9% copiously, and 8 mining speed, which I would take either of those for a size 14 so that is definitely worth keeping hold of and then finally we have a size 15 8 percent trap disarm which is also quite nice as for our gear ooh, we got a new transmog from one of the helmets and i think the only thing we're actually going to be keeping hold of is this 23 percent Valara affinity charm which is very nice although it only has six uses so definitely on the lower end but 23% is kind of amazing and then I'm not going to use this because it's an axe but I just needed to show you guys this legendary of 139% illager damage which is absolutely crazy like I said it's an axe and it's not that great in other respects but that is an amazing legendary to roll and as for the lovely trinket that that champion decided to give us Ooh, Ender Anchor. What does that do? Makes items automatically teleport to you when in range of your magnet. Oh, that's kind of awesome. 
So in that case, I guess you don't really need to care about the velocity of your magnet, just the range of your magnet? And 27 uses is a ton. That is actually really cool. And actually it would be really useful for the overworld as well, because you know, sometimes you end up like mining some bamboo and you accidentally leave some somewhere. This means that everything would just go straight into your inventory and you wouldn't have to worry about what you've accidentally left behind. That is actually really, really good. I am almost definitely going to use that in the overworld and I might consider using that in the vault as well and just seeing if I can find a magnet that has a ridiculous range. Although I do absolutely love my magnet with its item rarity, so maybe I'll keep that in reserve for when this one dies and I need to find a new magnet and then I won't worry about the velocity so much. But that's really cool. I really like that. And just before we finish for the day, I realised that I haven't unlocked any new mods in ages and I've just been stacking up the knowledge essence. In fact, I have so much knowledge essence, I have enough shards to make over a stack of knowledge stars, which is quite a lot. So between episodes, I'm going to try and think about what mods I might want to unlock. I definitely want to unlock Bruise so my potion can be even better and I am thinking about getting the altar automation mod as well because while I don't mind throwing all the stuff over into the altar it would be quite cool if it just automatically sorted itself out but then I'm not totally sure what to do. I am thinking of maybe getting either mob spawners or cagerium to try and automate some of the mob drops, or maybe getting one of the other big mods like thermal expansion or Batania, or maybe even easy villagers to do some auto trading because I always forget to go and trade with my people over in the other building, so... Yeah, like I said, I'm really not 100% sure, so I'm definitely going to think on it a bit, and hopefully by next episode, I'll have a decent idea of what I want to do. But the last thing I do want to do before we finish for the day is see whether or not we can find the final cupcake in any of these, because that would be a perfect way to end. So let's see what we get. And the answer is that that is the cupcake that we already had. Oh well. For a second, I couldn't remember what cupcake we were waiting for, and I thought, was it purple? But unfortunately, it's not. But that's fine. It's one last relic that we need, and who knows if we'll ever get it. But that was a good set of runs today. Yep, today was an absolute ton of fun. The warm up vault went way better than I thought it would, and then the chaos vault was suitably chaotic but also very rewarding with our new trinket and all sorts of lovely loot and like i said hopefully next time we can unlock some new mods which would be lovely and then beyond that we'll run some more vaults and maybe even find the ashium door that we haven't managed to stumble across yet but until then thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day and i'll see you next time bye